You know, one of the, the biggest obstacles that you're going to come across when you start this journey is, is other people and how they try to influence you. And, you know, if somebody is saying to you, look, there's nothing wrong with having one or two or moderation is all you have to do or any of that bullshit. You know, the amount of times people have said to me, oh, you, you're just an alcoholic and you've always been an alcoholic and you always will be. I don't give a shit. Uh, if I had a, a, a dime, is it they say, for every time somebody said that to me, I'd be a rich man. But, you know, I, you have to look at where these people are coming from. It's nearly always from a level of insecurity on their behalf. You know, they look at their own lives. When, you, when anyone tries to progress in life and you show that you're making progress, especially, you know, it, it, this doesn't matter if, you know, every five minutes you're stopping drinking alcohol and then you tell them, oh, I'm stopping drinking. And then you go back and then you say, oh, I'm stopping drinking again. You know, that doesn't matter. People take no notice of that. But if you're making progress and people see that you're making progress, people see that, you're, that you're, your life is improving because you're not drinking anymore, right? They will subconsciously in their own mind say that well it's no wonder his life is improving because he has a disease he has something wrong with him inside of his head he, they go through the same bullshit um yeah the same brainwashing that all the rest of us are put into the things that will stop you from stopping drinking alcohol for a long time because oh well i'm not at that level that's what they will try and put across in you but it is from their own insecurity so you know, uh, the only thing that you can say to yourself is feel sorry for them by all means, right? And say, you know, I always think, well, you know, somebody, what has somebody got, right? How bad has their life got to be that they have got to come onto a, um, somebody else's YouTube channel or somebody else's, into somebody else's life in any way, shape or form and say, oh, this is you, you're this, you're that, you're the other. They are putting across their own insecurities on you. And the other way is to say, fuck them because I do not listen to anyone like that I don't want people like that in my life right if people are showing me that they want help and they want to move forwards in their lives I'm all about helping people I love that about my job that is the best part of my job you know not that I'm ever forcing anyone you can as far as I'm concerned you can't you know put a load of guys in a room uh, the ones that are there on their own um through their own steam they're the ones that want to to be there they're the ones that want to push themselves forwards i've heard so many great stories of people who have said um, because i stopped drinking alcohol i've done this i've done that i've done that i've done that that is going to make people jealous like anything else in your life you know and it's not i'm not saying that uh, hopefully it spurs them on to do something good with their lives you know that it's a motivation that's the way they should be using it but they don't they use it as a form of lashing out to other people and you don't have to take that, right? So it is one of the toughest decisions that you'll make in your life um, is to get rid of these people or at least to distance yourself from these people until they can sort themselves out enough that they're not being a negative influence on you. Four Ps, right? Positivity, perseverance, uh, patience and perspective. Uh, it certainly takes a lot of patience with these people, right? But you know, you, you need to be around positivity, especially in the early days. I mean, the, the more you're around positivity, the less you will like negativity and the more you will distance yourself from that. So take care. Speak to you again. Onwards and upwards. Bye now.